Hello everyone, my name is Worldtop Hornet and welcome back to another episode of Minecraft. I said at the end of the last episode that this bedroom needs some work. <laughs> and not only this bedroom, but many other things on this base. So for this episode, we're going to do a little bit of a tidy up. We're going to go through a list of things and try and fix up some unfinished projects. So we do have the docks over there that will continue on soon, but it's little things like this bit here <laughs> that I made early on when I was doing the terraform and it goes nowhere. <laughs> it's just an opening. And then down here we have the villager breeder, which is extremely full. I need to get rid of, you can see that they're actually entity cramming and they can't fit into that corner. But I would like to tidy up this outside of it. And uh, look, it's just so messy. Clean this up, hide it a little bit and have access up to there where I can actually set off the uh, the piston and make it so that I can turn this machine on and off. And then little things like finishing up this whole area here, like that wall needs a little bit of work. I, oh, oh, a new, <laughs> a new victim. <laughs> Please tell me I've got a boat somewhere. Uh, uh, damn. Okay, let's think, let's think. Uh. Run, 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 run. <laughs> oh my goodness. Okay, okay, okay. Uh, this. Uh, this. Oh. <laughs> okay, okay. Uh, okay, I had no room, so that's landed. Let's see if we can pick it up from wherever it landed. Did I throw it into the water? Where did that go? Okay, let's make that. Where is he? Did I lose him? Did he go into a cave system down below? Oh, <laughs> I wanted another one for the council. <laughs> okay, uh, <laughs> where were we? So a couple of you guys had some really good suggestions for this area, which is give me a lot of uh, inspiration for more things that I can add here. One of the main ones being uh, Ambient mentioned that setting up some little warehouses near this would be a good idea. And then Scott also mentioned the idea of having like a, a fisherman trading area or uh, using villages for trading at the docks. So I was thinking that maybe creating a uh, an archway here that has the pathway going up through to the rest of this island, but removing some of these trees and building a... God, these endermen just... <laughs> they cause so much damage. But creating sort of a, uh, a fishing hut not hut, more like a warehouse, a fishing warehouse here and bringing over a couple of the villages that I have in the breeder over there, I could actually trade the fish that I get from my guardian farm with those guys. So it's another decent source of emeralds for basically free since we're building up those supplies from the farm, uh, the guardian farm anyway. And it'll add some more depth to this area. And then, yeah, I'll uh, definitely break this up a little bit and do some more work very soon. But with that being said, I think we're going to just jump into that bedroom for starters and I, I need to sort of just come up with an idea. And I think like most of the things that I do on this island and in this let's play, I'm sort of going to improvise it. But rather than doing most of these things in time lapses, I'm going to do my best to edit it up so that it doesn't take too long, but I can show you what I'm thinking and, and sort of what I decide to do when I do it. So I'm going to grab some materials, have a little bit of a think about it, and then we'll pop back into that bedroom and see whether we can make it look a little bit cooler. Okay, so with a bit of luck, <laughs> in a moment, this will be our last time sleeping in such a uh, ugly room. <laughs> the first thing that I want to do once I finish sleeping here is work out how much space I have to work with. So I'm going to open things up and sort of see where... <laughs> Like, okay, so that's sort of the very outside. And I want to find out where that comes to. Okay, we're under the water. Hmm. Aquarium window? Aquarium bedroom? Maybe? Okay, let me sleep and let's uh, let's see. Okay, okay. So, remove those beds. Put them, uh, there you go. <laughs> put them there. And let's see what I have to work with. Now, I know that this was directly above. Yeah, it was directly above a little cave. <laughs> and those are where I've got, uh, like, the light sources. And this is the going towards some of my underground stuff. An old, uh, man, 
<laughs> there's a mess down here. This is where I used to have the melon and pumpkins coming through as well. So we have a bit of space down here that we can use. And I think what I might do is actually lower, if I can get back up here, is actually maybe have the, uh, the entrance here lower back down into a bedroom and then oh yeah there we go so we might be able to get a bit of an aquarium wall on the back oh yeah i like that okay let's clear this out open it up and see what we have to work with <laughs> well i think this should be enough room <laughs> <laughs> so, as tends to happen, when I start to do this and thinking about what I want to happen in the future, I, I tend to work in a way that as I'm building a room, I like to think how it ties into the rest of the base. So, everything sort of organically flows together and over time, when a base grows, it doesn't look out of place, it's just like it's a new part that's been sort of exposed. So, in here, as I started to dig... I was thinking, you know, sort of aquarium window. And then I could hear these guys growling the whole time. And I was thinking about the guys over here that I've got name tagged and how I want somewhere to put them. And then I thought, well, maybe a bedroom is a little nook in the corner of a larger, almost repository. Is that the right word? Let me Google it. Yeah, repository. It's like the perfect explanation for what I want <laughs> this to be. I should trust myself. Basically, a center of knowledge from this whole researched area, like this this being, as part of our law, a base to research the strange uh, N-dimension energy that is being transported to this island, there would be many books of research and specimens from the area that we have been capturing to gain more knowledge. So I was thinking that over time I would see, maybe deepen this a little bit and create almost a large library and in between sections of bookcases have glass display cases holding our, our what would you call them? Specimens. Our, our natural specimens from this island that have spawned and gained enchanted armor and such. It's like, why do these ones have this power? <laughs> it's sort of like it adds to the lore. It adds to the story behind all of this. And so that's why as I started going, I'm like, I may as well expand. I may as well make it larger. And I'd like to make this into a grand hall with possibly some walkways around the second level, which is where the bedroom would be attached. And linking up to over here, if I oh, might have to fly up and hit my head. Ow. Like this. Ooh. Uh, I should sleep. <laughs> but this is linked up to this area here so we can have the walkway coming past a staircase going down like a little entryway into here as well oh man what, all the noises and things are happening and so once i'm able to transport those to a safer location i can really open this up and start another build in another episode I, this is why i don't get anything finished <laughs> this is why the bedroom stayed that way for so long because i just get distracted with all the ideas that are popping into my head so that's the reason why i opened this up but to make sure that we do stay on track we're going to try and focus on just this corner for starters and get ourselves at least the beginnings of a bedroom where we can sleep and it doesn't look too bad so let's clear up this water i might get a bit of glass and block off so that we have the start of our window and then see if we can come up with a little design from there by adding the furniture, the, the beds, and, and some little details as well. Okay, so now I've opened this up a little bit and I've actually extended this window across. And like with many things, I'm trying to make it a bunch of different options on how to get into each place in the base. So the idea of being able to come down these stairs or come through that walkway there and both lead into the bedroom is kind of what I was after. So we'll see how that works. What I'm going to do now is create a platform and I think I think what I want to do is actually get these guys out of there so that I can create this corner and duplicate it on the other side. Why is duplicate such a hard word for me to say? But that way that I, I'm sort of setting it up so that it's uh, getting ready for this build in the future and I want to be able to make sure that while this looks good, it also looks good on the other side. So I'm going to grab these guys, maybe put them in some boats. I don't know how to deal with it. I've got so many mobs around the base. It's ridiculous. But 
that is sort of why this design for this area has come into into existence because I need I need something more. I need some storage space for them. So let's make some boats and uh, what have I got? Oh, my inventory is so full. Clear the clear out the inventory. Uh, make some boats. See if we can get those guys out of there and and just square up that room. And then once that's sort of tidied up a bit, I've tried to start getting it a little bit more uh, uniform on the walls so that it doesn't look as, as crazy and it gives me an idea of what I'm working with. We'll remove that, get that up to the same standard, it's probably the same width out that way and that way if I can. And then once that's all cleared up, we'll start making the little platform for our bedroom. Okay, we've moved some mobs. Picked up a straggler actually. <laughs> I just slept and that guy appeared in there. So we've moved them out of the way and I've opened this area up. So now that I feel a little bit more comfortable with uh, the positioning of it all, I can duplicate what I make on this side, on that side as well, and open it up to wherever it comes through here. Now, I know that I think maybe that bit of dirt there might be my villager breeder just above. So I'm going to have to make sure I'm very careful the way I'm squeezing everything together so that I don't have anything come undone or ruin anything. And I'll probably end up changing the the enchanting area, especially if we're turning this into a giant uh, library of sorts. So now that we've got that, let's pop over here and start setting up our little platform that's going to house our bedroom. Don't know exactly how I want to do this. I might come down to this height here, like so, and make this step down a little bit. This will probably get adjusted as I, uh, as I make this room here. But for now, I just want to be able to have a very basic floor set up. Ideally, with these half slabs, it means that at least I'm not going to get any uh, mob spawns on there. And I sort of have an idea of how I want to set up the bed. So if I just get this in here like this, I just sort of try and bring it round in a way that sort of makes sense. If I try and make it so that it looks nice and flowy, maybe I want to do like a gentle curve this direction. Yeah, I think I'll start from here and try my best to make a circle that uh, also sort of travels downwards a little bit. So if I go three, I'll show you how I sort of make a circle. Uh, do I have enough? <laughs> I don't have enough of the resources on me to uh, to make it. Let's just grab, uh, let's go out here and grab all my dark oak that I had for this section out here. Uh, which one? That'll do. So when I'm making a circle, you can go online and use a circle generator. But basically what you want to do is go, I'll just do it for example. So I go three here. Then I'll lower it to two, and depending on how far I need to go, I might go another two, then a one, one, and again back to two, and you would finish up with a two, and then go three, for example, and then come back to two, two, one, one, two. <laughs> sort of like, it's hard to explain without just sounding funny counting through it. But if you get down here and have a look at that, it sort of creates this uniform curve. And you've got to think of it like a, I'll do it on the floor here. If I went three, two, two, one, one, two, two, three, like that, you've got to think of it as the quarter alone. And then you would just duplicate that on the other side. So say I wanted to turn this into a full circle, I might go three, two, two, oh, two, one, one, two, two. I don't have enough room in here. But as you can see, it sort of creates this gentle curve that the larger you go, the more like a circle it actually becomes. Now, the way I'm doing this isn't necessarily a perfect circle. If you want a perfect circle, I would suggest going to, uh, I think it's called Donut Studios. It's like the first one that pops up on Google when you Google Minecraft Circle Generator. And I use that all the time for creating circles, especially if I want a very specific size. So I might leave the link to that in the description if you guys are interested in that and, and want to start adding circles to your builds. That's definitely a very useful tool. And yeah, I can't imagine how many times I've gone onto that website. So with that being said, I'll keep that sitting up like that and try and just feather it down so that it, it lowers down to this stage. So if I go, I've got to try and imagine how it would flow. That one would probably stay the same height. This one here would be where it lowers. So like that. And then if I take this and have that go across the two, then I would probably go like this. 
that matches up like there. And then on, yeah, so have it staggered down on the middle section of the two individual block pieces. Like that. And now all we have to do is lower these ones, which would be like so, and like that. Okay, so now if I just curve this around a little bit like this, fill in these spots, but we want it to be a little bit more sort of blending in through. Okay, that's not too bad. We need a little bit of light just so I can see for now. And from here, it doesn't necessarily look like that is a circle, but especially if we lower this and create a border on there, like a blackstone border and possibly even a wall going down, it's definitely going to change the shape of it. So I might grab some blackstone and actually replace these outside uh, circle pieces that I had with a blackstone wall. Yeah, something like that. So if we pop back up on top now, if I just say, continue that, oh, I don't have enough. <laughs> uh, let's do that. Now this bedroom, <laughs> or, or what is hopefully going to be a bedroom, is uh, starting to come into a bit more of a private looking spot. So I think that eventually I would probably open this up about three wide and actually have the walkway going around the uh, the top edge. And I'm sort of wondering now, where can I fit my bed itself? I think that this wall is actually, this glass wall is actually gonna have to get pushed out a little bit further. Because maybe if I go out to sort of the edge of, uh, you can just see the outline of it there, the edge of the, the walkway above there, and then push my bed into the actual glass itself. So sort of have the aquarium right behind my head when I sleep. Yeah, I think that's probably the best way to go. Sorry about the way that I have to cut this, but I'm trying to make sure that I get a bit of detail in without just showing you guys a, a straight time lapse. And so I'm, I'm trying to get you into the process of how I am thinking about it as I go sort of coming up with the ideas of, you know, how this expanded, how now that I've got this angle on this side, I can make the exact same one on that side to fill in that corner. And so that when we're sort of down here, oh, can I snipe him? Watch this. Yeah. <laughs> uh, so now that when we're down here and have decorated this, there'll be another wall like that on that side and probably a split staircase coming down into the repository. And sort of thinking ahead like that a little bit just helps me personally to come up with the ideas of what I want to have here. Because this bedroom might end up very different if I wasn't actually thinking ahead about what how I want it to uh, sort of exist within the rest of the base. So now I'm going to pop that wall out add a little bit more glass and try and open it up a little bit to give myself the room to place the beds without it being super, super cramped. And then we'll pop back in and see if we can get that to work. And my goodness, I must have been tired when filming that last bit because <laughs> I ended up turning off the computer and actually leaving after setting up this bit of glass because I was just... I was losing all focus and I needed to come back fresh. So after editing that up, I apologize for how quiet I was speaking in the last section. I'll, uh, I'll try and pick it up from here on out. So I ended up extending that out and getting myself a little spot here rather than against the glass that I want to make my bed. And I think I'm just going to use some stone bricks to create this wall here and I might remove that bit of glass as well. So if I go outside and put some glass in that position, then I can remove that without getting water in here. And another thing that I did is I actually extended a little bit of stone up here so that it filled in that gap and I could actually have all of this underneath without there being a big hole through the roof. So there's that. Now, if these guys will get out of the way, got that there, I might, uh... nah, it'll be right. I'll make it work. <laughs> okay, so let's put that wall up and then see if we can get a bed built against it. Okay, I kind of like the idea of, oh, it's getting a little bit dark in here. I kind of like the idea of this whole library repository being a slightly different build style to the rest of this. I would like to maybe use just the uh, normal stone colors rather than the dark black stone, just to change things up a bit and give it a, a slightly different feel to the rest of it. I think it's a little bit of a lighter feeling and I want, especially with all the books and the color that will be in there, I don't want the darkness to sort of dampen and warm up the area like this. If I think about the colors that are in this area, other than the white, it's almost a very warm, somber kind of look. It's very dark feeling. Whereas, early time to sleep. Whereas down in here, I'd like it to feel light and inviting and like a a bright space to, to come down and study and anything like that. Oh, I must have spilled some water. I need to make sure that I relight this up. 
I do not want any any creepers or anything coming in. So like that. Cool. So <laughs> when I said earlier on that the last time we would sleep, <laughs> I was thinking that maybe I'd get it finished in one Minecraft day. I almost looked at that enderman. But that was definitely not true because it's been many, many uh, days in game. But it's taken me to just clear out that area and get everything moving. Now, one of the things that I want to do, do I have... Keep using up all the supplies that I have and having to go out for more. I just want to make sure I have the items that are required to build with. And if I check in here, eh, yeah, I'll make some more. So now, hopefully, <laughs> that was the last time that we will sleep without a proper bedroom. Because with that day reset, the new one started, I think... Oh, where did I do? Surely they didn't hit me from that far away. Oh, this... <laughs> what is... Oh my goodness. This place is just a mess. Okay, cool. <laughs> I, don't, I don't know what to say. Look at me. Oh my goodness. Okay, so what I want to do is if I grab these beds, is I want to have them set up here. Maybe one away from the wall. Something like that. Okay, okay. So I'm going to try my best to make a slightly more impressive looking bed than I usually have. Like I've, I've never tried to make the beds look good. I just have them as like a, a very basic thing to sleep in when I need to. So if I pop this like that, and it's only sort of recently that I've decided, okay, I need to uh, need to come up with something a little bit cooler. And I have no idea what my plan is as far as doing that, but we'll wing it, <laughs> see, see how it goes. Maybe something like that. Maybe something, I got these for the, the sides. I don't need, ah, <laughs> the letter A. No, now it looks like a, uh, a children's bed. It's just got like rails on the side. Maybe just two on the end. Like this? That's a little bit better. I feel like in this situation, having something like this, but half of that height. Thinking, thinking. <laughs> okay. Sort of like a bedside tables, but it's not the best positioning. Maybe if we push this back to the wall, but leave those there. Let's try. Mm, no, I do think that looks a little bit too short. <laughs> Uh, can you tell that I never really decorate interiors? <laughs> okay, let's try this. Uh, bring that back out. I think it is better to have it out that way, but maybe more like that. And then see whether we can. Yeah, I don't know. <laughs> All right, for now, I'm going to remove that and put that back to the way that it was because I think it worked with the, the backdrop. Oh, that was not correct. Worked with... The way that was a little bit better. Eh, I mean, it's not too bad. I might put some shelves above above here with some plants and uh, a, a light source or two. But we're going to have to do something about this ceiling as well. Which I think will probably get implemented in when I... Ooh, actually, let me try something. Okay, now we're getting somewhere. All I have to do is... Oh, it's time to sleep. Let's try sleeping in our new bed. Okay, yeah, it's not a bad little view. You get like that four poster feel. Now I'm going to try and see if I can get these to go across. But when I put some blocks there just a second ago, it didn't work. So I think if I do this, well, for starters, let's just see whether. Yeah, so I can do that. Let's see how it looks. And now I'm thinking maybe that whole top side. Okay, a couple more trapdoors and a couple, uh, one more. Unfortunately, I can't, can't make one by itself, but... We'll make one more of these dark oak signs and trapdoors. Okay. All right. That's not too bad. I'm not 100% convinced on, on the top of that, actually. I feel like that might eventually, when whatever we do for the ceiling comes in, I might remove that and curve the ceiling back down to it so that the bed looks like it's actually built into the roof. But for now, I like the underside of that. And I think it's not too bad. We'll just leave those torches there for now until I decide the sort of aesthetic for the rest of this room and uh, how it's going to look. But that's not too bad. Now what I'd want to do is I think just create a little, well, fix that wall up so it's dark as well. And then create a little bit of, uh, 
maybe like a sitting area, like a couch against this wall and something to indicate that this is a path through the middle here. So let's grab a few more materials. I'll patch that wall up and we'll see if we can come up with something that looks good there. Okay, let's see what we can come up with here. I think if I, <laughs> of course I expose that and make it uh, harder to deal with. I think maybe I, I want to come up with a design that sort of looks like a uh, all-in-one like reading entertainment area section something getting a little bit of lag <laughs> there's too many mobs and stuff around <laughs> we're gonna have to see whether that affects me over time um what other options do we have as far as doors go again this oh, ooh, ooh, ooh. where did you come from oh i know on top of my uh blackstone here last thing we want is for that creeper to blow up our stuff so i think if i go like ah. <laughs> let's try this let's try uh, like that, like that, that. I maybe want some bookshelves, which I can, oh, do I have some? I do. Okay. Uh, oh, gee, <laughs> my inventory's so full. That could just go in there for now. A few bookshelves like that. A little plant on our side table here. Um, what else can we do? <laughs> maybe a dark oak top like that. Stretching across. That's kind of cute. I need a lamp there, I think. Yeah, a lamp would be good. Yeah, I mean, it's not perfect, but it's not bad either. Maybe just something like that. It's a nice little reading nook off to the side. Not exactly sure. I think I'm going to leave it like that for now. And then I think just to come up through here, what I would like to do is maybe put a bit of a pathway that sort of indicates the walkway through using the well, I don't have any left using the spruce slabs rather than the dark oak slabs so if I just rip a hole through the middle like this grab all those so that I don't lose them and then a little bit like what I did out in the uh the sort of trading area over there just up top align the path by having a different color walkway going through the center okay that's a really nice gradual little walk up there. And then we have an indication that we're coming through here, like so, coming out to our future walkway. And then I think I like the idea of this whole uh, library area being in the spruce rather than the dark oak. So as I said, lightening it up a little bit, making it feel a little bit more welcome and open. And yeah, I think we have our bedroom. <laughs> and I had so many plans. I... I I thought that I was going to do so many things and tidy up so many things this episode. And I think we've spent all of this episode just working on this bedroom, essentially. <laughs> but I'm a little disappointed that I didn't get everything finished. <laughs> I think what it's going to end up being is just something that we continue every now and again to come back for. Uh, oh, it's night time. We can sleep again. Let's see what it looks like. Oh, yep. I like the way that looks over there. Fills up that blank wall a little bit better. Creates a nice vision going through there so you sort of see all the way down that way you see part of our storage room yeah it's just just a little bit just enough but to be honest i don't know if i can fit much more into this episode so that's probably going to have to do i think in the next episode we'll go back out and we'll start working uh, start keep working on the docks uh, I do want to build up those warehouses that we were talking about and then probably add some details before I get into building the ships and the airship. So hopefully you guys are looking forward to that. And I hope you like the look of this little bedroom just as a bit of an upgrade, <laughs> improving the look of what I had being just this empty room. But there is definitely room to improve and stuff that needs to be done to this ceiling area. I have some ideas and some things that I want to do as far as that goes. As we head to the end of this episode, I do want to thank my Patreon supporters I am really starting to feel like with a bit of work, I could potentially make something out of this. I could do this a little bit more full time. And so if you are interested in helping me and you have the ability to do so, I'd really appreciate it if you went and checked out my Patreon and, and considered supporting. I, I would love to do this stuff full time. And every step that I take towards that is just... It's just another feeling of achievement that, you know, I can do it. And so with that being said, we're going to end this episode here. I would like to thank my Patreon supporters, especially Tom, my level three supporter at this stage, and to all the rest as well, especially you guys who are viewing these videos. And I really hope you're enjoying the series so far. I'm The scale that I'm starting to come up with and the ideas that are popping into my head is really starting to inspire me. And it's getting the creative juices flowing. So that's, that's always fun. I'm sorry about the rambling nature of this video. It was a little bit... 
I hope you didn't find it boring. I, I sort of found that as I was editing up the earlier parts of it that it just sort of came together a bit randomly <laughs> and it didn't feel like I was necessarily making much sense or making the best use of my time. So I hope I hope that's okay with you guys. We're going to have some episodes that aren't as engaging as others and that's just the nature of it. I'm glad I got to build this little bedroom anyway and we can move on to more exciting stuff in other episodes anyway. Oh, I need to fix that up behind me. That's better. <laughs> so with that being said, I hope you enjoyed this episode anyway. I uh, I really do like this. It's It's something that I've never done before and like always, I'm trying to expand my capabilities and, and try new things. So as always, I hope you guys are taking care of yourselves and I'm looking forward to seeing you in the next episode. So until then, I'll see you in the next one. <laughs>